So please put your hands together and welcome Reed Small Dig Dole. Oh, thank you. Nikki, only my friends call me Small Dick. And it's Small Richard, by the way. Oh, I know, Reed's here. We gotta listen to him through five to seven minutes. Bitch, I'm going nine to ten. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You, I've never met you before in my life. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's great to be back. I know you guys have just been anticipating my return this whole time. This is where you say, yes, Reed, yes, we have to. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. You know what, guys? It's amazing to be on the same stage as one of my favorite comedians, you know? Right, Nikki Wyatt, everybody. Ah, God, I love her. She is so clever. So, you know... <laughs> you know how my memory kind of sucks? It's got nothing to do with all the weed I smoke, but it just, you know, I'm older, I'm older. So I decided to write just one or two jokes down, prepare for you guys. Uh, let's see, what do we say? You guys know I didn't prepare for y'all anyways. Come on now. I'm just going to wing it. So I'm still single. I know, big, big surprise. But that's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy. And, <laughs> and I'm still poor. I know. Big shocker. Those things rarely coincide with each other. But they are nonetheless. But look, I'm telling you, man, being single ain't so bad. You know, I feel like I've cracked the code. So I'm at the age right now where everybody's getting married and doing the traditional thing. And I'm happy for them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they'll learn one day or another. Just ask my friend Troy that came up from Martinsville, you know, I've seen Woo! him, grew up with him. He must have nothing to do tonight, so I'm glad he came. But, you know, so I feel like I've cracked the code. So, like, I've got all these friends that uh, are in these nice relationships, and they like to invite me over for dinner. So about three or four times a week, I get to go have a nice home-cooked meal at one of these friends' house. And it's great, I go over there, and like, you know, I'll be with uh, my homie before, and he's like, yo, my wife just said, what should we cook tonight? And so that means, Reed, what do you want to eat tonight? And I'm like, all right, hell yeah, let's go with some steak tacos. Let's, let's get some fajitas or something nice. So I go over there and I get a home-cooked meal, and I ain't gotta put up with any of the bullshit. I ain't gotta like say, hey honey, how's your day been, blah, blah, blah. I just show up when it's meal time. And I feel like it's a really good situation because when I get tired after I eat, you know, and I'm ready to go home and they're trying to keep the conversation going, I just start an argument between them. <laughs> just like, bro, you remember that one trip we went on to Charlotte and that chick that just wouldn't leave you alone? And that's all I gotta say. Usually they take it from there on and they just keep going. And then I just go about my merry way. So being single ain't so bad. And you know what, neither is being poor. So to be honest with you, ain't nobody stealing your identity. There is no identity theft when your uh, credit card rating is like a 560 or something. You know what I'm saying? Ryan, you know what I'm talking about. Being poor, really ain't all that bad, you know? People aren't all calling you, you got scam calls all the time. Fuck that, they don't bother me no more. So there is a silver lining to being poor. Let's see, what else can I talk about? You know what I'm saying? I got some new teeth, I don't know if you can say. You know, I don't like the spotlight, you know, but I be shining tonight, you know what I'm saying? Just ask Tommy, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, brother. All right, let's see what else. Oh, my birthday was August 1st. I'm a Leo, so I like to talk about myself. And it works out. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday. I got one. Is there any more? 
Yeah, hell yeah. I'm a narcissist, bro. I love that shit. I'll eat that shit up. But so for my birthday, I took myself down to Key West to go to an awesome concert. And it was fun. Uh, I went all the way to the southern border, bro. I took my picture with the buoy and all that shit. Yo, the concert. Oh, it was... <laughs> Whatever, motherfucker. <laughs> the concert. I thought you wanted to generally hear about my trip. Whatever. It was Soja and Stick Figure, right? A bunch of white boy reggae, and I fucking loved it. It was great. But I got to tell you, man, they try to kill you with alcohol in Florida, bro. Trust me. My liver was so fucked up. I was honestly nervous about coming up here because I know there's some moonshine floating around. I know somebody's got it. So, but the whole point of this fucking story is <laughs> I was flying there out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and that's where I reside. But, you know, the dub. So, every time I fly, I feel like I'm flagged because I get checked every fucking time. And it has nothing to do with the hash I tried to smuggle back from Amsterdam in 2008. It's got not a damn thing to do about that. But for some reason, they just want to touch me or something. So I get flagged. Well, this time I'm prepared. I wore, anybody know what umbros are? Does anybody remember umbro shorts? Well, they are very thin, silky, and they feel great when you start moving at fast speeds. And guess what? I don't wear underwear. So, so there's that. So, you know what, I'm going through TSA, and I'm prepared. I'm like, you know what, if I'm gonna deal with this shit, some big dude touched my junk, I'm gonna have some fun with it. So, of course, I go through the whole thing, you know, blah, 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 they scam me. Come through, you know, sir, come through, come through, you and your own bros, bring it. And, of course, he was like, oh, you randomly got selected for a check. I was like, bullshit. So, I feel like I'm gonna have some fun with him. So I'm sitting here looking at him. I'm like, yeah, bring it on. And I'm kind of sitting here like that. Just kind of like poking it out there, just ready for him. Totally fucking backfired. Uh, he called like three of his boys over. And these motherfuckers are big. And they ain't all that cool. I mean, we got a Simone, we got a white dude, we got a black dude, and I don't even know what the fourth guy was, but he was big, bro. So it totally backfired, so all of a sudden, we go down the whole routine, and I've, I've been through this many times, and it's basically like, sir, I'm going to have to pat you down. I'm like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I prepared for this. I wore on, bro. It's no big deal, bro. I'm still trying to keep my cool and fuck with him. But uh, so he's like, you know, we're going to pat you all around, and they do all their damn thing. You know what they think. And when they get to the, the good area, I'm like, now look, I'm going to use the back of my hand. Like, that's supposed to make it fucking better. <laughs> like, you a big motherfucker, you still touch my junk. All right? And then all of a sudden, he got real serious and looked in my eyes. He said, here I go. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know if this really happened, but in my mind, he looked in my eyes and said, <laughs> It was fucking freaky, man. He had his boys behind him and shit. Needless to say, I made it through. I had a little story to tell. You know, I got a little, felt a little shift, you know, as I went through. And when I, that's right, I went, uh, went in my merry way. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for him to call me back, but no big deal. <laughs> that's cool, no big deal. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I left a card with a smiley face. It's all good. You know, oh, the flashlight, all right. Well, look, 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 look. We ain't getting flashlight late, because I got something else to say. So, you guys remember my homoerotic friend that I played golf with last year? Is anybody here? Well, fuck it. He is my best friend, and for right now, we'll just call him Brad. But me and Brad, <laughs> me and Brad like to go to the gym together, you know? gym partner. If you're a gym person, you got to have a gym partner. Does anybody here know, uh, know what Planet Fitness is? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheapest strip club I've ever been a member to in my life. $10 a month, and oh my God. Ah, oh, them girls. And I live in a college town, so it is particularly nice. Yes. So look, look. All there is there is spandex. You know, God bless the man that invented spandex. And look, you think what I'm thinking? Trust me, a man did. I promise you, girl. The way that shit be looking these days, 100% man invented. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. So, I know, you guys are probably thinking what I'm thinking, right? How could they make spandex even better? Guess what they did. And they put lifts in all the right places and all, like, bunching together. Looks like girls' booty just be eating them shits out there, man. But it's the best, best gym I've ever been a membership to, and it's $10 a month. I don't even know how they make money. But so, me and my best friend, you know, we're in there with our ear pods and everything. And, you know, so we, I'm going to let you guys in. I hope my bros don't get mad at me, but I'm going to let y'all in on a little bit of sign language, a little bro sign language. When, when we're in the gym, right? You know, I'm not going to give it all to him. I'll save a little bit. But check this out. So, you know, we're sitting there, we're lifting. You got your earbuds in, and you're like, can't nobody hear shit, because now we got noise canceling everything. And so what do you guys, you know, you see a chick, you're like, yo, bro. And so you, oh, shit. You missed, bitch. It hit my ear. God bless America. Fight, baby, fight, fight. All right, so I do digress, I do digress. Back to my strip club I was talking about named Planet Fitness, all right? <laughs> what the fuck was I saying right now? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, it's bro language. Bro sign language, bro sign language, all right. Shit, y'all done got me for a second, yo. Uh, bro sign language, so we're sitting there working out, you know, you see girl, Yo, yo, look that way. So what do you think that means? And you don't say nothing. You're just like. So that means, yo, that girl over there is probably very attractive. In other words, and tight. So all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we keep working out. And you know, that's the best motivation in the world. You got the hot girl. She's like, Ugh, motherfucker. They don't give a shit what you're doing, but you still feel motivated. So my boy's sitting there and doing his thing, doing his thing. He's like, yo. And what you think that means, you know? It means, yeah, she all right, but I would definitely still hit it. So that's that, you know? And I hope my brothers don't get mad at me. I'm giving away the sign language, you know? But it's all good, it's all good. So, you know, we got, we got one more, you know? We're sitting there sitting there lifting and everything, and you're like. And now look, what do y'all think that means? Let's go home. She has a great personality, I mean, honestly. That's exactly what that shit means, and that's how we talk. What are you guys thinking about? You little, you little bastard. But look, here's the other thing. It's really good about the gym. I hope you guys is, uh, you send your kids to the gym, your sons, not your daughters, God forbid. <laughs> Do not send them to my gym. But uh, they're a good way to teach uh, geometry and angles because uh, there's at least one wall in every gym that has a bunch of mirrors. And you gotta figure out how to like coerce your way around and see like the angle of the girl. You got like a girl sitting there doing like some type of weird like pelvis lift, trying to work on her gluteus maximuses and shit. And me and my boy are sitting there like, oh my God, you think she sees us, bro? You think she sees us? They don't see us. Ah, I hope they don't see us. But you know, every once in a while, we're not as smooth as we think we are, you know? Sometimes we get caught. So, talking about those angles, use the mirrors, and we'll be walking around a chick, and you guys, the, the exercises are just getting rowdy these days. I mean, some of them are sitting here like, oh. you know, it's like, what am I supposed to look at? You know, 
millions of years of evolution has taught me to look that way. So sometimes you'll have a chick doing her exercise. And she just turned around. Sorry, you guys got to look at my ass. But it's, it's just like this. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't think she can see us, bro. Let's get a closer look. So we'd be creeping up. And she's sitting here like this. And all of a sudden, she sees me. <laughs> and she's just like making eye contact right there. It's like, what the fuck? Like, yo, my bad. I can't help it. I can't help it. But that's a gym, and it's the cheapest strip club I've ever been to in my life. Been a member of. Let's see, I got one last thing. You know, how can I stir this crowd up? I got it. Y'all want to talk about trannies? Do you guys want to talk about trannies? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, my Jeep has an automatic transmission with seven gears, and it flies through them bitches like butter. You guys got a dirty mind. What y'all talking about? That's all I got, motherfuckers. I love y'all. Ah.